show you now how to, as each magazine comes down, process it through Scratch, allowing your DP an opportunity to create a look and to process it out to editorials and dailies. And uh, literally at the end of the day, your production company can walk away with everything in hand, ready to start editing and rest easy for the night. Uh, Phantoms are really expensive, generally shooting um, uh, big setups and or expensive explosions. So there's a lot of anxiety surrounding these sort of shoots. And uh, one of the ways of relaying this, this anxiety is to do it on set. And as I say, the DPs, the directors, get a chance to actually uh, control the transfer process. As a result, you get better looks and or adherence to um, B or C cameras uh, being an Alexa and or another camera you may have on the shoot. So I'm going to exit out of the, um, the Phantom application now. I think we've dealt enough with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up our Scratch Lab. Right. So I've got my first uh, construct open over here. And uh, we know that we're working in South Africa. We're working to 25 frames per second. That could be changed to uh, 2397 or any of the, the frame rates, base frame rates that you're going to be working to. I'm going to stick to 25 for the moment. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and load that uh, phantom footage into the construct. So looking at the files over here in the uh, Explorer, and uh, this little collapse button over here, sometimes if you come into, because the files are sequentially numbered like this, what you may, what you may end up seeing is, is this. As you go into a magazine, you'll see a single clip represented. And uh, that is only by virtue of the fact that it's designed to help you when you've got uh, frame-based formats to be able to see them as a single clip. The way to undo that is to just click on the Collapse button and individual clips could be selected. So I say let's load these files up into my construct and there we go.